Hey guys, it's Chris with Ghostport. I just wanted to give you some tips and tricks for how to set the shelves in the Axiom 9-pack racket bag. It's one of the most common questions that I get, so I thought it'd be helpful if I showed you how to do that. So the first thing that I'd always recommend is to always just set your rackets and the sleeves first. What that's gonna do is set the width of the bag to the proper width for the shelf. So I'm gonna put these rackets in here. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. And again, this is just going to set the proper width for the inside compartment, which I'll show you in just a second. So these are the shelves that we're gonna set inside the main compartment. So let me open this up. I'll show you what we're looking at. So there's nothing inside right now. And of course, everything inside here has that Velcro material. I'm gonna show you some clever ways just to kind of make it easier. Because the Velcro is awfully strong, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to, to get it set right. The thing that I'm gonna do here first is I'm gonna shape this like a C, okay? And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Velcro and I'm gonna fold that over. This is going to allow me to slide this into the main compartment without the Velcro catching. So here's the first one I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right in here. And then I'm gonna release that C. And then I can fine tune kind of the position of how it fits in. And once I feel like it's in a good position that I, that I think I'm gonna like, I'm gonna take just my fingers and rub the Velcro down, and make it nice and firm so that it doesn't slip out of place if I were to put something heavy on there. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the second shelf. So again, I'm gonna shape it like a C. I'm gonna fold that over, and then I'm gonna slide this in without it catching. I'm gonna release the C, and now I can fine tune what I want. I like what I'm seeing here, so I'm gonna lay down the Velcro on the bottoms and the sides. And then that's gonna set basically, you know, the, the height that you want. Of course, you can, you can play with this all day long to, to customize it how you want, but this is just an idea of how to do it. Another tip um, that I wanna kind of share with everybody is this pouch for the dry bag. So remember, this is great for storing wet clothes and shoes when you're done, right? And so it collapses down here when you're done, but of course, this takes up some space. So one of the reasons that we uh, designed this to be kind of its own collapsible compartment is that when you're not using it, all you gotta do is just kind of bundle it together up at the top and it stays, and now you get free and clear use of this top shelf. So those are just some tips and trips, tips and tricks for you when you're setting up your bag. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us and we'll, we'll give you a shout. Thanks.